In this video, we will see how is uh, a, a LM GE LM 2500 gas turbine. As you can see here in this picture, uh, this, uh, this turbine that corresponds to a real gas turbine, a LM2500 gas turbine. And as we can see, uh, we have three main parts. Uh, the first one is the compressor, the second one is this one, is the combustion chamber, and the third one is the expansion turbine, divided into sections. We can understand that a gas turbine, here is, is written in Spanish, but uh, you can understand very well, perfectly, the, 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 the words. Uh, is composed by a, a compressor. The compressor is the inlet of the air. The air here increases the pressure to some value in case of a LM2500, depend exactly the, um, the gas turbine, but is between 15 to uh, 23, more or less, depending on the exact uh, model that we are uh, using. Uh, after that, the air increase the pressure, uh, we go to uh, the combustion chamber, and in the combustion chamber, the compressed air receive the gas, natural gas or the fuel, and after that, uh, this fuel is burned and increase the temperature of the air. A uh, gas turbine is called gas turbine, uh, and that, this name does not depend of the fuel that we are using. Is uh, the gas turbine is not referred to the that the fuel is gas. The gas turbine is referred that the, the uh, fluid that go through the turbine is gas is air in this case. Well, here in the combustion chamber, the temperature is increased because the thermal energy received in the combustion of the fuel. Then the air increase the temperature. And if uh, this outlet was closed, then we will increase the mm, pressure. But if this is open, the pressure is maintained uh, and the air that goes over this section is at the same pressure than here, more or less, but a high temperature. After that, the air that goes out goes first to a first expansion turbine and after a second expansion turbine. We return the image that we was seeing before. Here is the compressor. Here in this part, we increase the pressure of the air. Here we increase the temperature of the air. And uh, here and here in two sections, we decompress the air. First, we have two stages here, and these two stages has more or less the exact amount of energy that we need to move the compressor. Then the compressor consumes some energy to compress the air, of course, after increase the temperature, and we liberate the energy, the exact amount of energy that we need to move the compressor, which is the, the balance in this point is zero. The same energy that we need to move the compressor is exactly the same energy that we generate in this part. For that reason, all this section, this section that I am showing here with the mouse, is called gas generator, because the outlet of this section is a gas with some pressure and some temperature. Then this gas has the possibility to generate more mechanical energy. And, uh, but this mechanical energy is what we obtain. Because the, uh, some part of the energy that we obtain with the expansion of the gas, remember that we use this energy to move the compressor. More or less, 
65% more or less of the energy liberated in the combustion of the gas is used in uh, moving the compressor and only 33% more or less of the energy contained in the gas is used to move this part. This part and this part are mechanically disconnected. The compressor and the two first stages are mechanically connected. But here this part is independent, has no connection, has no a mechanical connection between this part uh, and this part. Probably in this design is, uh, we can see better this concept of the gas generator. See that here is the inlet of the air. In this uh, compressor front frame we receive the air that comes from, uh, from the ambient or from the inlet, goes in, goes through the compressor, increase the pressure, and after here the, the combustion chamber increase the temperature and start to move over here. Here is the compressor and move this to first uh, stage. This all this part is called gas generator. And after that, the rest of the energy that we don't use to move the compressor is used to move the rest uh, of the expansion turbine. And uh, in the rest of the expansion turbine here, uh, this uh, expansion turbine is connected to a generator, a pump, or any other a compressor, any other element that we want uh, to move with the help of this uh, expansion turbine. This shaft and this shaft, this part, this shaft and this shaft are disconnected, are completely independent. The number of stage that we have here is 16, but there is a model with uh, 18, even 19. Depending on the number of stage, of course, the pressure here is higher or lower. The number of stage here are the same too, but this turbine uh, could be different depending on the application, uh, depending on the exact model that we are using from uh, the, the LM2500. See this other figure, for example, and in this other figure, we have a configuration, a different configuration. In this configuration, we have only two stage. We have two stage for the gas generator and two stage for the expansion turbine. And with the help of these two last stage, we move the pump or the compressor or the generator that is moved uh, with the help of the gas turbine. In the compressor, we increase the pressure, as we have said before, but see this, uh, the, the compressor is divided into sections. One of them, this first section has variable veins, means that the geometry of the veins can be moved, can be uh, changed, and uh, as in a consequence of the changing of the geometry, well, really what, what happened is the angle, uh, the incident angle uh, of the air is different than the aerodynamical condition change and the amount of air that goes in the turbine uh, is reduced. From 100% of the air when the turbine has uh, are in some position to 25 or more air when the turbine is at a technical minimum power. This reduce if we reduce the amount of air that can go in the turbine, we reduce the amount of energy that we need to move the compression. Then this is used when the turbine is not working at full load. When the turbine is working at partial load, we need to move these blades in order to reduce the consumption of the, the mechanical consumption of the uh, compressor. Uh, here we 
can see how is moved this seven stage, the seven first stage of the compressor. Moving this bar, we can change the angle, the incident angle of the different uh, stage. Here, uh, the different variable gains, and this is the bar that we can move in order to change the geometry. This is, uh, in this part we have seven uh, states that uh, can change the geometry and the rest till 16 are fixed. After, uh, we have here the combustion chamber. Uh, in this case, the, this turbine is an annular turbine, means that all the burner goes to the same chamber. It is the only one chamber, a combustion chamber, but with different burners. The number of burners depend on the exact model of the turbine of the LM2500. Here is connected to the fuel. If the fuel is gas, it's connected directly with a ring that distributes the gas in all the burners. If the fuel is uh, diesel or uh, fuel oil, uh, in this case we need to increase a lot the pressure of the fuel. After that here is an increased temperature and uh, finally with some temperature, some uh, pressure, the gas, hot gas, uh, some pressure goes through the, this first expansion turbine and this second expansion turbine. There is a, another structural elements that we need. Uh, one of them is the, the frame, the, the, the casing. And the casing is divided in different sections and we can dismount this casing in order to uh, remove the, the, the different part of the gas turbine. See, for example, that this turbine, the, the, the casing of this turbine is divided into sections. Is um, is uh, axially cut it as you can see here. This is at two middles, and we can dismount this casing, dismounting the upper part, and maintain it in uh, on site the lower uh, part. But in case of the LM2500, uh, the casing is divided in section in radial section and if we, we want to dismount the compressor it is necessary if the compressor or the expansion drain is necessary to dismount the different section of the um, casing and the casing is uh, radially divided second structural element is the rotor and the rotor is composed by a shaft and blades but the rotor in this case is not only a piece there are different pieces and the uh, compressor is divided in section. There is one section here, another section here, another section here. And this rotor is divided in different uh, section. As the rotor is moving and the casing does not move, then uh, it is necessary to uh, introduce an element to reduce the friction. And this element are the bearings. We have uh, several bearings there in the rotor supporting the, the rotor and uh, but mainly we have two type of fittings one of them is uh, to compensate the axial forces and uh, other types is to compensate the radial uh, forces then we have uh, journal beatings to support the uh, the rotor and to allow that the rotor uh, turn and we have uh, axial beatings the main objective of this axial building is compensate the axial force that try to move the rotor in this direction, in the direction of the shaft. Then uh, we have different axial and different uh, radial uh, buildings. In the different rotors that uh, we have, in the different shaft that we have. The, here in the compressor, in the different shafts, we have different buildings and even in the expansion uh, turbine. A part 
of this main body composed by the uh, casing, rotor, bearings, and uh, the, this different section, the compressor and the expansion drive, we have auxiliary elements. This auxiliary element, of course, has a pump to lubricate the different bearings, a pump to increase the pressure in case that we are using a diesel or a liquid a fuel, a external system to clean the compressor, and an external uh, deposit for uh, oil, including pumps, etc., for the uh, to move the, the oil. This is a very fast introduction to the um, LM2500 uh, gas turbine. If you want to know in a more deeply way the different component of the gas turbine, please follow us in this channel.